and do anything I wanna do. Do anything I wanna do. Do anything I I can do anything. Welcome back. Let's help you grow now. I'm finna do a reaction to touring the world famous invisible house. Now I ain't gonna lie to you guys, bro. As far as an invisible house, I don't know. I'm a private person, bro. Like I take privacy so serious, and it's like invisible house. But if you think about it, right. The house isn't going to be expensive. So evidently, it's going to be in a location that's very secluded. You feel me? So it makes sense. So under those circumstances, yeah, I would I would accept it. You know what I'm saying? But a visible house still would be my first choice, though. But I would, I would accept it just based off the fact of it's a very secluded location. It will, it will be in a very secluded location. <laughs> This is California. Speed this video up when the desert should you then see a sea of sand and rocks under the scorching sun. The tree feel ancient, carved into the earth by the eons of natural process. The landscape is harsh and unforgiving, evoking the sensation of being in an early world. But amidst the barrenness, a glimmer of hope shines in the form of a glass house. The architecture is unique, a fusion of modern design reflecting the ragged landscape. It's a symbol of resilience, standing strong against the harsh elements. It is the invisible house. Hey everyone, welcome to Joshua Tree, California. Today we're doing this incredible property designed by Chris Henley and Tom Asinski, and it is unlike anything we have ever seen before. So once again, welcome to the Invisible House. Let's go look inside. <laughs> The exterior of this hall is striking and unique. We have these massive glass panels, and these glass panels have mirrors finish, and that's how we get the structure to reflect the surroundings around us. Thus, the name Invisible House. And hey, I ain't gonna lie, bro. That shit fire. You know what I'm saying? Like it's very, it's wide. You know what I'm saying? The view is cool. You know what I'm saying? Like you're out there in the desert. You feel me? That's that's my type of vibe. I like to be secluded away from everybody. So the only thing I wouldn't like, if anything, is the weather. Because if it's super hot, I'm like, damn, that's the only thing I wouldn't like for real. Now, this section of the property has a foundation that goes into the ground. But on the other side, we have two concrete caissons floating the rest of the structure where we have the primary bedroom suite. Now, coming here, small patio. These sliding glass doors open up the junior primary bedroom. And coming to this side, we can see the hillside that this house is located right next to. Massive boulders, amazing scenery. And this walkway takes you to the entry. So we have the sliding glass doors opening up to the property. Stunning space. I can't wait to show you what's on this side. But first, let's turn this way. Setback columns, walls of glass, incredible scenery. And now, let's cover the specs. So we have three bedrooms, four full baths, 5,500 square feet of interior space, situated on a 90-acre plot, which is the biggest privately owned plot right next to the Joshua Tree National Park. It is available for short-term rentals, managed by Field Trip, owned by Chris Henley. So I want to give big thanks to them for making this tour possible. And as always, you can find more information in the description of this video. Without a doubt, the coolest Airbnb in the world, in my opinion. Yeah. And it's nice I've had our eyes on this property for a long time. Um, 
we're excited to finally get in here. It's kind of one of those iconic photography locations. And uh, you got a cool list on it. Yeah. It is the invisible house. I mean, it's so cold. Yeah. And let's continue our tour. Now, we have this opening taking us to the junior primary bedroom. These rooms okay. are not like the typical rooms that we tour on our channel. This bedroom is very unique. We have the built-in bed here made out of marble. And they use the same marble as a back wall. tempur bed, super comfortable, modern light fixtures, and obviously, Room gets a ton of natural light because we're surrounded by walls of glass. The good thing is you can see outside very clearly, but they cannot see you from the outside. These windows are all mirrored, tinted essentially, and you can just open up these sliding glass doors and enjoy the scene. Hopefully they show how it looks at nighttime. I'm a nighttime type of person. Like, I'm a nighttime type of person. Like, you feel me? Awesome. Henry, it's incredible. I've never been in a place like this before. Yeah, we uh, are very close to Los Angeles, but we rarely get the opportunity to actually visit. We're two hours away from Los Angeles. Yeah, that's right. And this is our first time in Joshua Tree. All right, I'm going to close these sliding glass doors. We have polished concrete floors, modern light fixtures, great volume. And yeah, this is the junior primary bedroom. Now, this hallway takes us to the junior primary bathroom. Same polished concrete floors, and I'm going right in. Look at this walk-in shower. This is crazy. Stainless steel wall panels. Rain head above, it's all open. And on top of that, they have these invisible branded towels throughout the property where you can hardly see it. How cool is that? I like that. You have your toilet, mirror, really cool light fixture, vanity on this side, very unique, very modern bathroom. Now, let's go back to the hallway yeah, so we can check out the main space. Now, the focal point of this main space is the 100 foot heated pool. That is against. Yeah, that's fire. Pool. That's these fire. These are fantastic. Senior is amazing. That's fire. And you have a heated pool in the center of your home. So cool. Yeah, we have seen some uh, interior pools before, but never one like this. Not at this extent. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, we have open ceilings, industrial appeal, first seating area on my right hand side. And in fact, Mikey, can we take everybody outside for a second? I want to show this side view. So this property is situated right next to a hillside with these boulders and the scenery. It's like a movie. Yeah, and the reflections you get all around the house from the rocks uh, and the other side of the house is, is, is unlike anything we've ever seen. Without a doubt. And I really appreciate how they built this house, how it's integrated to the landscape. And then you have the mirrored walls, which helps it blend even more. I've never seen a structure like this before. It's fascinating. Yeah, it's incredible. Um, I wish they had these kinds of homes all over the country. I could see these in woods. I could see these in deserts. Like, they would blend anyway, you know? I totally agree. All right, back inside, another seating area. I got to show this. Well, two details here. Number one, this is the coolest chest set I've ever seen in my life. It's all brushed metal pieces. Such a curated accessory. And check this out. This is the owner's next project. They're calling it the Starburst House. It is Not built out of 20 house. containers. <laughs> really? And they're building it here in Joshua Tree. How cool is that? It, it, it looks like something you would see on like another planet, you know? Yeah. It looks like a UFO that landed in Joshua Tree, you know? It's crazy. It's amazing. All right. Let's continue. Right next to the seating area, we have this dining table. Stainless steel top. Seating for 10. Even the chairs are so futuristic. Look at the angles here. And it is right next to your 100 foot pole. I've never been in a space like this before. I can't get over this hillside right here, this rocky, deserty landscape, views. It's a lot to take in. Yep. I uh, am really excited to see what this looks like when the sun goes down. Look at these lounging chairs, that glass coffee table. And obviously, we have more sliding glass doors opening up to that walkway, automatic shades throughout. And this is where we have the main seating area. I really like these modern sectional couches, light fixture above, glass coffee table, breathtaking views. We have another table on this side. And right across from the seating area, we have this 86 inch LG TV. And I really appreciate that they have the TV on the stand with tires. That way you can move this TV wherever you want. Mm -hmm. And because they have glass walls throughout, they ended up recessing in their plugs on the floors. Now, before we leave, Mikey, one more detail. Shoot, you know, you know what would be cool though? If it had a, like a projector, put them other effers on the windows. But, at nighttime, at nighttime, get a projector, put that mother effort on the window. That'll be fine, too. There's a sliding glass door here, and that's why we have this glass railing. And they ended up putting this glass railing to the interior. That way, on the exterior, they protect that monolithic look. But at the same time, you have your protection. You can just open up the glass and enjoy the scenery. Now, let's check out the next space, kitchen. I really like this Long Island design. You have your bar seating here. First thing. White flat panel cabinetry, and you have two smaller sinks here, induction cooktop, marble countertop. This is the same marble that we saw at the junior primary bedroom. 
pen and lights above, and on this side, look at this glass stand, microwave, toaster, coffee maker. And since it's a short-term rental property, they provide all the accessories, appliances, utensils, towels, everything you need, so you can just come in and enjoy this house. Now, on the other side, rest of the built-ins, freezer, fridge, two ovens, and the way this kitchen is designed can easily accommodate large events, large groups with catering. And yeah, I feel like we're on Mars right now in a futuristic modern home. This is I can't wrap my head around it. Yeah, I I, uh, I used to read Life magazine when I was a kid, and they would have these conceptual drawings of like the way homes would look in the future. Uh, this was a 1950s magazine, and this is always what they looked like. You know, it's it's crazy. Yeah, it's this crazy hyper modern monolithic structure that contrasts so nicely with the landscape of Joshua's Lake. The invisible house is near a stretch of desert where two distinct ecosystems meet: the lower elevation Colorado desert and the higher and cooler Mojave desert, which provides a natural habitat for the Joshua tree. The Joshua tree is an important part of the ecosystem, providing shelter for a variety of wildlife, including birds and insects. In addition, it's an iconic symbol of the American West, and the National Park has become a popular tourist destination. Its rugged landscape has endured centuries of changing climate, from torrential rain to double conditions. In such an environment, and with current conditions growing hotter and drier every year, the visible has spent is greatly from forward thinking technology and an incredibly unique design. It's a piece of modern art dropped from space onto the earth. Someone was like 100 years ahead, and they're like, I'm going to build this, and it's going to make sense in the middle of a desert. It's basically a 22-story skyscraper laying on its side. It is precisely 220 feet long. Yeah, I don't know about y'all, but I'll stay there for sure. Like, I'll stay there. Man. So what else they talking about? Oh, I'm going to start. Oh, yeah, at night time. See, I like the night. Look, y'all, I actually be watching these videos all the time, okay? I probably have, like, one reaction, two reactions on here. But, yeah, on this channel specifically, I am going to start doing these type of reactions, though. Um, I've been lacking on it by not recording it or whatever. What y'all think, y'all comment below, because this is just to inspire you and motivate you to work harder. That way, you can end up with something like this. So I'm telling you now, I definitely am. You know what I'm saying? Eventually. So uh yeah, so this will motivate you to go harder with y'all mute with, with the music, you feel me? Go harder anything that you're doing, you feel me? But let's look at the night tour. I mean, I'm gonna skip this. This video is called Touring the World Famous Invisible House. So if you want to go watch the full breakdown or whatever the case may be. Y'all can do that on your own time. Let's go to the night tour because the night times. Look when 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 you watch these videos, the night times to me be the best. Like I like I like how it is at night. Do you feel me? Let's go ahead and get into it. <laughs> This place is insane. Bro, you know how cool it would be set up your studio. You feel me? I will be recording at nighttime. I'm telling you that off real. Morning time, I'll be, you know, doing the work, chill, you know what I'm saying, doing the work. But the nighttime, record, because just recording in that space will give you so much ideas, I promise you, bro. Like, all right everyone that's it for the tour what a day it was touring this incredible property and sharing the experience with all of you i hope you all enjoyed it big thanks to field trip and the owner chris and lee for making this tour possible more information on this listing will be in the description of this video and we'll see you guys next week all right make sure you guys like comment and subscribe i don't be liking that
they don't make the night tour longer. And you will see as I do these reactions more and you go watch the videos and stuff like that on your own or whatever. <sighs> they be so quick with the night times because the night times be the best part. Before this video ends as well, make sure you go to my website, let's help you grow now dot gumroad.com because i have courses on here that can help you guys grow so if you on tiktok i have how to grow your fan base on tiktok don't don't worry about the 2023 i gotta go update that um i actually gotta add new stuff too um you can join my program too where i walk you through everything you know what i'm saying you can grow you feel me so y'all check all that out and check the links in my description as well Yo,